Right, good morning, O'Brien. We're coming to you live from the Mombasa Law Courts, and this morning, ODM gubernatorial candidate Abdi Somad Sharif Nasir is expected to file a, court, a petition challenging the directive of IEBC chairperson Wafula Chebukati issuing that the Mombasa gubernatorial election that was slated for 23rd of August be postponed indefinitely. Now, we, we, we were with Abdi Somad Sharif Nasir yesterday night after the pronouncement of that directive and he expressed as to why he is in he is in protest with this uh, with this directive. Um, of course, uh, right outside the Mombasa Law Courts are his supporters who are escorting him to file that petition. According to Abdul Somad Sharif Nasir, he says that the uh, directives are unconstitutional and that uh, he he he. He, he feels that the directives are malicious and should, shouldn't have been directed. He says that uh, once the directive were issued to postpone earlier on this month, he says that they were supposed to um, uh, promote voter apathy in this region, to promote a certain candidate to be able to um, uh, uh, win in the, in the presidential race. However, um, those are claims that he is just making. And to mo today morning, he is expected to come here and see if the courts will uh, assist him in uh, getting orders that will allow that election that is slated for 23rd to proceed without any hitches. Now, Wafula Chebukati yesterday pointed out that he has postponed the Mombasa gubernatorial and Kakamega gubernatorial election based on uh, harassment, alleged harassment of IEBC staff um, at the National Tallying Center. And this harassment at the National Tallying Center has led to other IEBC officials across the country feel uh, afraid uh, to do to discharge their duties. Hence, he cannot conduct the elections or the commission cannot conduct the elections that were slated. And so um, this directive, of course, uh, was met by a surprise and met with protests, as you can see from your screens, from supporters of Abdul Swamad Sharif Nasir and himself. He says that um, there are no grounds that warrant the IEBC uh, uh, commissioner, uh, chairperson, to warrant uh, for him to postpone these elections. He says that they are ready and they can go to the ballots anytime. However, he feels that his actions are malicious um, in the postponement of these elections. Of course, we are following up. His uh, main contender, his main opponent, Hassan Sarai of the UDA uh, gubernatorial ticket is expected to also address us, uh, the, the, the media on his stand also or whether he has accepted the this uh, decision, or he is also protesting uh, that these elections be postponed. He is yet to give his remarks as to his position regarding as to the postponement of this election. However, according to Abdul Somad Sharif Nasir, he insists he wants the elections to be conducted on the 23rd. Constitutionally, he has to go to court, challenge the decision by IEBC chairperson. Then if the court gives any direction on the matter, then the elections will be uh, conducted on the 23rd. But as it stands, the IEBC chairperson, Wafula Chebukati, um, um, has insisted that the elections of the Mombasa gubernatorial will be postponed indefinitely. So we are waiting the arrival of the gubernatorial candidate, who is also the sitting uh, member of parliament in the in the last uh, legislation um, Abdul Somad Sharif Nasir was the uh, Vita member of parliament to come and address his supporters because they are charged here from as early as 9 a.m. The supporters were here waiting for him to come and file that uh, petition to have the directive be uh, thrown out so that the elections can be conducted on the 23rd. Also, my colleague Michael Mandiga is at Hassan Omar's uh, office also uh, getting his remarks on whether he feels comfortable on what was uh, discharged by Chebukati or not. So we are uh, keeping a close eye, the Mombasa team is keeping a close eye this uh, day on how this, uh, this whole uh, gubernatorial elections um, uh, stalemate will end.
today. So I hand it back to you, O'Brien, as you wait for the arrival of Abdul Samad Sharif Nasir. His lawyers are already arrived. Of course, we have seen some of the elected leaders and some of those who are backing his candidature right behind me. So they're just waiting for his arrival. We see what the court will uh, give direction on the pronouncement on the matter. And then from there, then we will understand how this whole stalemate will be resolved. The Hassan Omar is also supposed to give his turn. We also wait for his um, for his word on the directions that were given by Chebukati. So, Brian, we are here keeping a close eye. I'll hand it back to you back in the studio.